Uh, greetings to everyone. Um, if the past speakers has been dealing with practical theology, and I'm bringing Old Testament to 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 you guys, and my topic. Uh, his title is The Trauma Effects of Spatial Segregation, um, uh, a reading of 2 Kings 25, verse 8 until 21. Um, so the journey that I've already taken is that um, I'm left with one chapter, which is the trauma part of what I'm about to discuss right now. So now I'm just going to give you the background of what do I mean by saying spatial segregation of 2 Kings 25. Right, so um, the study of exile has become popular in recent decades. And, and in this research, scholars attempt to uncover the nature of Israel's experience of exile. Historical and sociological studies draw the effects from forced migration that on the people of Israel. For the exile was much more than a state of geographical displacement and biblical passages. It's now clear that it is a metaphor that explains the system of association. These system associations are a result from a divine wrath and a separation of a deity. However, the word, the word exile refers to the deportation of captive people because even when the people have returned from exile to their land the trauma of exile still lives within them since they were slaves of foreign powers this alienation never left them now in a south african experience Roger is of the experience, his opinion that the idea of establishing Bantu stands was subjected to systematic encroachment and is not the first to be practiced in South Africa. Although in South Africa the concept was taken to its logic conclusion of mass deportation with the whole ideology of separation, minded and guided by heavy political power. In the 1950s, the colonial government in Africa was seeking to expand their relationship with colonies in response to the political challenges created by the Second World War. Thus, throughout the 1950s to, till the 60s, many former European colonies in Africa emerged as new and independent. In South Africa, it was a bit different. White settlers were independent from the Britain um, from the Britain um, Empire since the year 1910. The ruling party then, known as the National Party, thought to extend existing patterns of colonial segregation through uh, devolution of political structures and the promotion of putative independence in the African Reserve. The National Party, through it, would be benefit, thought it would be benefit to tighten and extend existing systems of invasion control designed to prevent the movement of black people to urban areas. So the research problem in this past decade, two movements have dramatically reconfigured the background of exilic studies. Old Testament scholar um, Lim demonstrates that scholars began to question the historical authenticity of exilic studies. It, has always, it was always believed throughout the 20th century that the exile referred to the Babylon exile that began with the destruction of the Jerusalem in 586 BCE and with the Syria's decree in 539 BCE. With this, scholars focus exclusively on the life in the Babylon through the eye of the chronicle when the land of Israel was desolate during that period. Um, methodology. So the text will be analyzed on a psychronical level using perspectives from narrative criticism. This will be combined with insights from historical critical exegesis as well as sociological criticism. Sociological criticism will be employed in investigating issues surrounding the narrative 
through looking at the sociological impact and the history of the text. And then aims and objectives. The specific aims of the research to be undertaken in this dissertation can be outlined as follows. To provide a narratological and historical overview of the Babylon exile by clarifying the event through the text to, um, 2 Kings 25, verse 8 until 21. And then through the sociological and historical criticism to analyze the exilic event and to use a trauma theory as an interdisciplinary approach in addressing the trauma and the effect of it within the context of the Judeans and South African. Galibou.